With roughly 70% of California's economy allowed to reopen, we wanted to take a closer look at the small businesses that will not. As Newsday's Lamar Abrams reports, the closures are already popping up across San Diego. The state's Chamber of Commerce doesn't keep track of these types of closures, but locals are starting to. At just this one shopping center in Poway, there are now three empty storefronts, and businesses that are still open are starting to feel the trickle effect. It's very sad. People come in here, they love to see all shop is open. Just when business started picking up at his Poway Juice and Smoothie Bar, Amir Baradaran says both the next door donut shop and Subway Sandwich Restaurant shuttered their doors. People coming used to go to Subway to get sandwich and then come here to get a smoothie, but they are not coming anymore. He says the financial pressure from the pandemic was just too much to bear for his neighbors, and they're not alone. In Vista, Sunrise Cafe just announcing its decision to close, despite many pleas to stay open. I feel terrible for uh, the business owners that, you know, especially somebody who puts their, their um, years of their life into building a business and building a brand. The federal government is trying to limit the virus's toll on business owners with low interest and forgivable loans. But the reality is bleak. A recent survey found that 7.5 million small businesses will permanently shut down over the next several months. Restaurants may be hardest hit, as the California Restaurant Association puts it. And San Diego is certainly one of the hot dining scenes in the state of California. CEO Jock Condi is urging the governor to give the industry additional concessions, including deferment of fees and taxes. To allow us to come out of this hibernation period and survive, if there, if there are, as many from 20 to 30 percent of the restaurants could not reopen. Back at the juice shop, Amir says he typically needs an average of 80 daily customers to pay his bills. Now he's lucky if he sees even a handful. But he's hopeful. I cannot go sit at, at home and say, oh, no, but we have to be positive. Yeah, we have to do something. For now, San Diego County leaders are asking for the opinions of small business owners affected by COVID-19. To find out where to add your input, just visit our website, cbsa.com, and click on the Help button. Thank you, Lamar.